Oh yeah, that's right. It's episode 15 of Show Us Your Home Video. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. Did you figure out this week's theme from the Humvees pictured in the intro? This week we dive into a little known and highly sought after segment of the Humvee universe, the Ground Mobility Vehicle or GMV. If Wikipedia is to be trusted, then the GMV's improvements over pre-existing Humvees include more rugged tires, a heavier suspension resulting in improved ground clearance, increased payload capacity to two and a half tons, a more powerful engine, extra fuel tanks that triple the vehicle's range, added bustle racks for ammunition, fuel, and water, internal fire suppression system, multiple smoke grenade launchers, open bed for improved storage and access, winch for towing other vehicles, GPS navigation. Based on pictures I've seen of GMVs in action and feedback from GMV enthusiasts, GMVs can have pretty much whatever the guys using them wanted to install. You'll see as we dive in that GMVs vary a lot. I'd like to note that we will not be talking about the later versions of vehicles that bear the GMV name. While these do appear to be rather badass, they ain't Humvees. What better place to start our GMV adventure than with the very first GMV still in existence? Thanks to Citizen Dave, as the various levels of government bureaucrats call him, at the Temple Museum of Modern Warfare, we have a rare look at one of the 10 gun trucks put together for the Navy SEALs for the 2001 invasion of Afghanistan. The story is that they were given free reign to build whatever they thought they would need using whatever parts they could find. Of those 10 Humvees, I'm told that only three were brought back to the US. The other two were converted to slantbacks and all evidence of their Navy SEAL combat heritage was removed. Somehow, this truck survived intact and even has the original Navy markings very, very cleverly painted over so you can't see them. This original GMV is a mashup of a 1992 M1038, various accessories for the civilian H1 Hummer, and an M1026 top. They sawzawed the rear end off of that top. They beefed up the suspension, put aircraft seat belts in it, installed a civilian front bumper and undercarriage protection. The headlights were disconnected and infrared lights installed. The side marker lights were removed and even blocked off. The military airlift bumper wasn't around yet, so they used the civilian predecessor to the airlift bumper. The tire carrier in the bed is a civilian model with extra supports welded on. If my research is correct, that makes it a GMV-N or maybe not, as it appears that this batch of 10 Humvees were converted before the GMV Humvee program officially kicked off. But look at it, that's a GMV. Now let's look at how a few GMV enthusiasts have outfitted their rigs. In this thoroughly desert tan example, we see that Matt has many of the key GMV features and then some, like a big Ibis Tech Protective front bumper, hood mounted Pioneer tool rack, roof mounted machine gun turret and chicken shield, side steps for troops to stand on and grab handles along the roof, an open back wall for easy access to the bed. Some of the coolest modular cargo bed rails I've ever seen. They let Matt add ammo can holders when needed, which I suspect is whenever he installs the front passenger swing arm mounted machine gun to match the machine gun behind the chicken shield. You put together a rather stunning beast, Matt. Next, we have a GMV recreation that reminds me of the level of detail that model builders are known for, but this one is full-sized. Van decks out his Humvee with all the gear that the troops would have had while using it in the field. First and foremost, you can clearly see that GMVs are gun trucks, with Van sporting three mounted machine guns that we can see and several other unmounted weapons. The crew's bags are strapped on wherever they can put them. There are lots of water and fuel jugs, ammo cans, a tent, various types of camo, toe straps, antennas, and lots of spent brass and links. Vanny even went windshieldless like the Special Forces troops often do in the field. That GMV Humvee is truly impressive, Van. 
If I missed anything on Vans GMV, please leave a comment. Based on the years of the GMV program, which ran in the early 2000s, it seems that the majority of the GMV Humvees were painted desert tan. However, as we saw in episode 10 of Show Us Your Humvee, a few were outfitted in the old three-color woodland camo pattern. Here's another one that Vince has put together. And did you catch John's camo GMV in this week's opening? We've even seen a few solid green GMV Humvees, like the ones in Episode 7 and Episode 11. Here's one more solid green Humvee that Eric has set up for display. Holy crap, that looks clean. We could keep going all day on the cool stuff that can be done with GMV Humvees, but we're out of time for this episode of Show Us Your Humvee. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. If you want your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, then send me an email with landscape-oriented pictures or a link to download video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee, and I'll put it here on Show Us Your Humvee. If you've already sent in pictures or video for Show Us Your Humvee and you still haven't been featured, don't worry. You will be featured soon in the upcoming weeks. I'm just going through the videos in the order that they came in. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Yeah.